this works. I have a new microphone that I don't think will die halfway through a stream. Um, let's see. Do you have roommates that are asleep so I don't want to talk super loud? But this is the new Dwarf Fortress. Um, did a quick little dive into it just to kind of familiarize myself, but I haven't played any of it really. Um, Alright, so I'm not going to continue this game. What I'm going to try to do is do kind of what I did on the last stream with Classic, which is get a, uh, a world with a lot of volcanoes. Now this, these are all the same, well, these are all the same uh, options that you have. Classic, just a different interface. Although mineral currents is usually, I want to say sparse. The default is everywhere, which, you know, if you're dealing with uh, new people, is a little depressing if you don't have a lot of minerals. So I don't think everywhere is right. I think we should be frequent. We want to use detailed mode, and these are the options that I explored last time. I don't think there's a whole lot of changes to this, so what I want... More dragons, but they're younger. The great thing about dragons is they're later in the world that the dragons can sometimes uh, stick around. And uh, it takes them hundreds of years to actually get, uh, to, get uh, to be what we would consider a dragon. And they get huge and very, uh, very formidable. But the young dragons are kind of easy. That's fine. Titans, Mega Beasts, Forgotten Beasts, all those are, uh, all those are great. So I didn't want to change too many of these. I wanted more rivers, but I think we're just gonna do that. So let's see, cabin there, three cabin layers. Open this, that's fine. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's get a little above layer one. I want more gaps between. is where I can build a fortress where I'm not going to be just sandwiched between a couple caverns. Bottom. Bottom. Hmm. Well. It's fine. Alright, so... first time. 
I've gotten it to work in a lot of ways. actually goes uh, much faster. So weird random bug. We got nine rejected already. Let's see. We have that minimum volcano. So if the volcanoes don't randomly appear, it will reject the world because there's not enough based on my parameters. Let's see. wasn't excited about the music, but now that I've heard it, I'm actually very impressed by it. It's uh, definitely homage to Tarn Adams' original um, guitar noodling. Okay, it's beast. Are we, are we good? Is this going to go? Caves. Oh, civilizations. All right. Oh, fucking succeeded. All right. This is cool. We'll just pick kind of random things. These are not necessarily like important events. It's just uh, events to show you kind of things are going on. The Jungle Titan. Hold on. Jungle Titan. Uh, can't read fast enough. Thought I hit pause. <coughs> Alright, so it's got rocks. Uh, Vio Raw Pants. The fame of rams routed the malice of waves, the perfect wickedness, and destroyed bad throats. And rocks are tough. They fly. Flying is tough. We're just dumb little short dwarves. Can't reach the, uh, the guys. So I'm going to try and go to 100 years here. Usually go to like 80. But uh, I forget what I did on the classic version. I think it was probably around 80 or 100. This is this goes much faster. The three-eyed monster. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is like little bits of history, civilizations uh, rising and falling. You can see elves kind of populating these forests here. That's our volcano. Hopefully, we'll uh, get a good spot with a volcano. I want to do pretty much the same goal as with my other stream, and I'm going to kind of go back and forth between Classic and this one. And of course, each game is going to be completely different. So, you know, one of the fortresses might just burn immediately, but uh, well, we will see. Oh, I didn't... Hmm. I didn't set... A, a population cap. So, yeah, this one might actually... Let's see what my population cap on the other one was 50. Let's see if I can do that without editing things. Yeah, we're gonna... Let's see the ageless dimension. Um, yeah. I'm going to return to the main menu just so I can see if I can alter the settings. I'm going to do a population cap of 50, um, just so that things don't get too out of hand too quick. My main issue is uh, too many dwarves too soon. Sometimes your population can trigger attacks from goblins and whatnot, so my idea is that this is going to be an outpost uh, for a mountain home that we're going to be sending an expeditionary force of 50 dwarves out to get things ready and then we'll take off the population cap once things are more or less established and and let the fun begin see if we can destroy them but again like uh like the other one i'm going to try and do all of the uh industries uh in house which is it's a lot you don't have to do to play that way but
I find it more fun to have a challenge. Um, some people will just focus on making, you know, metal crafts, and then they'll just trade those crafts to caravans, and then the caravans were so overpowered that uh, you just basically get everything that you needed. If you just got a couple dwarves really good at making crafts and then selling them. So I don't like doing that. So let's see. This is nice. This is very nice. I like... <laughs> Walking spreads flatter. <laughs> so if you walk through blood, it'll leave a little trail of blood. <laughs> Come on. Let's do that. Let's see. Do you follow some bark width? Yeah, okay, that's all good. Okay, these are... This is definitely... Oh, there we go. Population cap. Let's do... Strict population count. Oh, hey, buddy. There we go. Let's do 60. Uh, it's population cap. It will halt migrants from showing up, but if you have a higher population cap, your dwarves can actually have children. <laughs> no, you're a plus child. Please, births. Wait. Hmm. Plus child. Yeah, all right. Grand start secured. Uh, huh. I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm going to lower elevation layers to show. Oh, nice. I don't think we don't need eight. Five is freaking fantastic. Holy cow. Yeah, I really like a lot of these were not... Well, if they were options, you really had to dig into the uh, text files, um, the raws, the raw files. That's awesome. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that should be all fine. Okay, so. So we're going to start an existing world. She only has one. That is the one. Cool. I think I'm going to do uh, an embark. I might I might play a little farther past the initial embark. I want um, my classic game and the new version to more or less hmm, more or less uh, go at the same pace, but maybe they can leapfrog. My classic game stopped right, right after embark. I hadn't really done anything but kind of look around the map. Legends mode is interesting. It's much more interesting now. So you can see the history of your world. So you have historical figures. You have 18,000 historical figures. These can be goblins, titans, dragons, dwarves. And they're just listed. And we can search, like, dragon. Tool dragon, all right. Hmm. This is new. These tabs and the being able to click on stuff and open a new tab is uh, new to Legends mode, which means I am very much more interested in Legends mode now. Historical figures. Let's see. So you can't search by dr oh, Bronze Colossus. All right. Let's see. There's a Hydra. Alright. So you have a Hydra. <laughs> Associated with strength, rebirth, and a muck. That's beautiful. So, the first year, Mogok is just cruising around. Year 8, became an enemy, an enemy, an enemy. Uh, devoured a yak cow, became the enemy, attacked the human, struck down the human. Yeah, this will show you know all the notable things that this male Hydra has done, and the Hydras begin was uh, born near zero, basically. So, killed two other notable uh, people. 
And then four other just not notable things. It still keeps track of all that. And you can click on all these things to figure out where that was, who these people are. So looks like it's terrorizing some humans. It's fine. So Quistra Swelt Work, the human. You can click on that. Again, opens another tab. And the human, one of the first of its kind. The All the uh, humans, dwarves, and elves that were born at the beginning are just called the first of their kind. So I became a prophet. Uh, let's see, Quistra and Aim Slaughter Sequa. Became lovers, broke up, became lovers, broke up, became lovers, broke up. I hear ya. Been there. A member of, uh, let's see, Holy Tomb. This looks like a religious sect, maybe. And then, Holy Summer, a Hydra attacked. And Quistra was struck down. And then the Hydra ate Quistra. <laughs> so yeah, this is you can see every single little thing that the history has generated here. And if you're interested, you can um, oh male dragon. There we go. Huh. Well, I didn't show up in the search. It's fine. This is a dragon. Looks like it's fucking up some dwarves. All right. It's like bowl paint. That's kind of where this dragon is. Uh, sometimes you can uh, embark on a spot that has a dragon's lair un <laughs> unintentionally, and uh, that can be a quick end to your fort. Although sometimes they just kind of stay in their cave until you fuck with them. So sometimes you can actually just kind of live with them. We got 14 kills in 100 years of notables, of course. All right. So that's Legends. I like looking at it now, but it's not really going to affect um, how I start my, uh, my fortress. So, main thing is we're looking for a volcano. Second thing, it'd be nice if there's a river next to it. It'd be extra special if you had a volcano and a waterfall. But... That's probably wishing for too much. And, uh, from what I've seen um, so far from uh, some other YouTubers, um, looks like minerals are just all over the place. I'm going to skip the tutorial. All right. So... Uh, little human hamlets, is that what that is? Uh, yeah, so little human hamlets look kind of orange. The human castle. The monasteries, too. I've never really messed with monasteries. I did adventure mode a little bit, but I don't really... Oof, that looks kind of perfect. It's got a brook. Alright, that is... I got some goblins nearby. A short trip. Oof. Oh, that's right there. Man. All right. This seems like they'll attack us pretty much immediately, which might be fine. Oh, these are evil. Yeah, sinister biomes are brown now. So haunted and sinister. So if you embark on these, like sometimes your dead will just reanimate as zombies. Sometimes it'll be um, rains of blood, and sometimes like just corrosive um, acid. We'll just rain from the sky, so it's sinister. E well, evil biomes in general are uh, not for the faint of heart. They're very difficult. So this volcano does not have a brook. It's not very cold. It's freezing. All right. No trees. Scarce vegetation. Yeah. I might do one of these a little later. Uh, oh, heavily forested and thick. That's not that bad. Can't make notes anymore. Hmm. That's fine. So the um, the improved UI has taken away. Looks like a few options, but they're not options I really used all that much. And I'm sure that there's actually a way to get to that functionality. I don't think that functionality got taken away. I think it's maybe just hidden. Okay, so we got a brook again. Again, no, no river, just a brook. But again, 
You can see over to the right, iron, gold, silver, copper, nickel, zinc, platinum, and lead. That's a lot. I don't know, flux though. If I just had iron flux and maybe uh, some silver, that would be fine by me. Let's see. Another volcano here. And a brook. This has flux here. Light aquifer. It's hot. Heavily forested. It's right, it's calm. It's pretty chill. Let's see. No flux there. Untamed wilds, though. Untamed wilds can. It's a stream. Streams are better than brooks. Eh, they're about the same, actually. <laughs> the mousy fire is a volcano. Temperature hot, trees none. Other vegetation none. <laughs> that would be that would be a tough embark. Let's see what else we have. I think this was a medium. It seems awfully large. Maybe it is a large volcano. The flames of owning. What's that? Mirthful. That's a tiny little good biome. So Mirthfall, the good biomes are where you can find uh, unicorns and, and things. Uh, you got bad biome here. It'd be fun to have uh, an embark that actually is split between like a haunted and mirthful. Just to watch the good and evil just go at it. Alright, I think this is kind of cool here. That is a good little pocket civilization. Not for any gameplay reasons, it's just kind of neat. They have their lake, they have like one little spot here, and then like some hills are kind of hard. It seems very defensible as a civilization, but again, gameplay wise, none of that actually matters. So we got Dwarven Fortress. Uh, let's see. So we can choose Origin Civilization. Oof. Oh, maybe this, yeah, this is definitely a large. This is a large uh, map. Oh, it went very fast. Oh, some ice dwarves up here. It's hm. funny. These guys. Oh, I like these guys' style. Mountain homes probably in here, and then they're kind of branching out out of here. I like that. I'm not going to be anywhere near there, though. What was that gonna be? What was the volcano I liked? I think it was the upper left. I think it was this guy I liked. Oh no, can I not? Oh no. Light aquifer to the north. Okay. Okay, but like, it's not saying that I have a volcano. That is the volcano. I'm just not moused over it. Like, I would like the volcano just to be in the. Uh, lower right. That is what I want. Yeah. There's so many minerals. And iron, gold, silver, copper, nickel, zinc, platinum, tin, lead, and flux. That's insane. That was too many. This is going to be too easy on that front, but the goblins are super close by. So we got... Woodland trees, you got vegetation, you got wilderness. Okay, I don't want this to be the one. White aquifer is fine. Deal with those. Okay. So enemies, I'm gonna go normal, but economy I want hard. Custom settings. Let's see. Civilizations can attack, mega beasts, swear beasts, fierce wilderness. Yeah. Um let's see. Enemy population, trigger one. Enemy population, huh? So maybe that's the end. The enemy civilization or the enemy um, 
uh, fortress or a dark pit can't attack until they reach this level, maybe. Huh. Yeah, these are all new. This is uh, definitely for modders, too. I'm sure we'll get some insight into all of these. Irritation. Nice. Irritation cap. That's all fine. Oof, man. All right, this is a lot. All right. I think these are all fine. And of course, we'll prepare carefully because that's what I do. This is different. Uh, you have different skill points um, versus item points, which eh, kind of makes sense. All right, much the same as the other one. I'm gonna kind of. See what they do here. Disdain is law. Yeah, I like you, buddy. Intuition, memory, ability to focus, creativity, and willpower. Next to no empathy. Well, you're not going to be a leader. You're not going to be a doctor. Eh. I'm be a carpenter. I'm be the best carpenter ever. Oh, right. Okay. This is annoying. I like starting people with teacher, just so they can actually teach other people what they're good at. Um, so carpenters tend to be pretty freaking busy. Is there any other labor I give them? I don't want it to be something we do very often. So like, butcher, actually. It kind of makes sense. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, bad with hers. Low stamina. Poor focus. Poor memory. Strong. Disdains hard work. Eh. Just strong. Bad with everything else. You are going to be a miner. I don't care. But you don't like hard work. You're going to have to do it. Uh, miners are also very, very busy. So, let's see. Maybe a mechanic. We don't like mechanic mechanisms are very important, but we don't build them very often. I don't know, maybe a uh, spear dwarf. <coughs> Teacher. Ooh, wait, one more. No. Analytical, musical. All right. There's a sickness, values tradition, cheerless, poor social groups. Is this sickness? Musical, good animal. Uh, you can be a doctor. You can be a doctor. Consider other. Yeah, there we go. So, room dresser, diagnostician, to surgeon, from doctor, teacher. Teacher, I want to be able to teach how to be a doctor. Uh, yeah, doctors are very useful when you need them, but uh, let's see if I can pick herbs. Poor empathy. Man, all these fucking poor empathies. Disdains fairness. Gregarious stamina. Okay. Man. Plan to create art. That's for depression proud uh, man. Fuck you. Stains harmony. Covers quickly. Alright. Man. You're gonna be. Basically, going to be our military captain here again. Should I 
have something else to do. Militia captain, we still have uh, let's see, good focus. Let's see. Analytical moment. Okay, this is gonna be a leader here. So we're gonna do the leader. Also gonna give you Keeper, flutter, and solar. Actually, not flutter. Uh, negotiator, intimidator, persuader. All right. It's basically a all hands on deck. <laughs> uh, manager, bookkeeper, and uh, trader. I think. Yeah, appraiser. All right. And all that. So what are we missing? We need... So Mason. Crucial. Let's do Mason. Oh. We also need Brewer. You are going to be a Master Brewer. meat. No. <laughs> Can't have cat meat. That's not cool. Alright. Meat. Dingo lung? Dingo kidney. Dingo meat. Slug eye. Wow. Now let's just do dingo meat. Some fish, we got some plant elements, some little mushrooms, bags. Uh, so, these a lot of these things we don't really need because I'm going to be able to make them fairly quickly. The quivers, not need quivers. Buckets, I'm going to need one bucket, no splints. None of that, none of that, none of that. They take up a lot of points, and we can use those points for animals too. Um, let's see, how many powders we want? Gypsum plaster. This is just hard to find gypsum, and it's uh, good for making casts for your uh, hospital. Quick climb, don't need that. Um, drinks. It's good to have. Oh, whoops, whatever. You have one of every drink that you can, at least just because uh, even if there's one drink, you get a free barrel, and barrels are handy. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do. We're taking all those trap pods out. Okay, well, again, same thing with sand. If you just have one unit every type of sand, it'll give you bags. And if you use that sand, you have empty bags. And those are handy. It's kind of a, not really cheating, but it's just a handy little trick. And we want clay as well. There's also other reasons to have all this stuff around too, just for uh, strange moods.
two minutes coal. It's only three points per, and it gives you so much um, fuel for uh, smelting and uh, metal smithing. He's about 630 points. That's crazy. Animals we're going to do. So war dogs are 31 points. Regular dogs are 16. It takes literally like maybe a day to train a dog and to be a war dog. So we got one male dog, two female dogs. Cats are super handy uh, for keeping down vermin. And then we want... I usually go for alpacas. I think I'm going to stay with that. Or buffalo. Nice. So alpaca. So you can get wool from these guys to make clothes. Animals. And you can do um, turkey eggs. I don't really care. Like, that's so many points. This is very different. Talc obsidian. Hmm. Like I just, I don't even want to spend this many points. Um, let's see. A lot of it can be kind of tough to come by, and I know they nerfed the economy. So maybe I'll give you a bunch of leather too. It's for shoes and bags and whatnot. Much of these are usually not available. Or maybe, maybe I just don't look at logs that often. But some of these are uh, very deep cavern uh, wood logs that actually have some special properties. That's fine. Um, let's get some more seeds for everything. Since we're going to be doing everything in house and farming got nerfed. But now how much farming got nerfed? Uh, let's see, copper battle axes. Oh, uh, let's uh, let's get like a decent hammer because I know is it silver war hammer is a hundred. Fuck yeah. Okay, eight points left. That's cool. Uh, eight points left, and let's just put that into beer. Bam. Learn your fortress name. What we got salve boot. Dumb. Walled Plunge, Present Solve, Iron Weld, uh, Iron Weld the Fly, huh, I don't know, we have the random, uh, okay, a Pure Cloister of the Screamed, Wield, Violent, hmm, the Wield of Violent, Menace violent, sure. Uh, let's see. Mm. Scarlet, that's fine. And let's see the Scarlet Blood. Yeah, Scarlet Bloods. All right, Scarlet Bloods, the Menace violent. I'll take it. What's the settlement? And the group. Uh, let's see. The stern artifact, the west bow, the ancient construct. Uh, Earth of trailing, guild of defense. No, no, no. We want the fleshy floor. <laughs> All right. Hood key of tin. Roughness of selling. Tan banner. Curled page. Bloody page. I like that. Let's see the bloody. 
group. No. Um, yeah. Okay, the bloody floor. Sounds good. I'm not going to bother with the symbol. That's just too much. Going to embark. Yeah, let's do it. Of ride, blah, 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 blah. Same thing. Um, I'm going to move a little slower on this because I'm not used to the hotkeys. Let's see. Starts paused. That's all good. Let's see. It is. He's... Oop. Hey, buddy. All right. Zoom keys over here. That's fine. Sand, Alanite, Roots, Alanite, Dacite, Native of Copper just right here, sticking out. Alright, well we got Copper, Moonstone, got some gems, Tetrahedrite, that's what I want. Tetrahedrite is Copper and Silver. Uh, let's see, use that Mossid. Sand just say that's cool. Let's see. Uh, Considerate. That is also it's one of those um, <laughs> one of those metals. I don't really care about, I think. Pyrite, that's cool. Okay, so there's the bottom. Alright, where it's out in the air. Flat area for like maybe a pasture over here. Yeah, with the indoor nerf with farming, I wonder about indoor pastures too. Not the nerf that too. It's not bad either over there. Yeah, everything else looks kind of very steep. So I don't mind maybe this being the entrance here. of your map is because once you get a siege, they'll come from the edge, and it takes them a while to get to your actual uh, opening, so, you know, down at the bottom, it could be neat, there's a little nook there, but if you get a siege, it starts, like, right outside your door, you barely have any time to uh, get your guys uh, safe, so, let's see, that's citizen information... Sorry, this is going to take a minute. Alright, I'm going to do... Chief Medical Dwarf. Let's see, does the broker need... Okay. Is there nobles? The, sometimes the nobles will require these things over here. Uh, bedrooms, uh, office... 
dining room, stuff like that. The, these don't require those yet, so we don't don't need that quite yet. But once uh, once we start digging, we'll get a manager and a bookkeeper who will also be the expedition leader. He's going to be working four jobs. But for now, we do want a broker. That's all good. Let's see creature. Let's see. Stuff. Okay, so what we want, uh, let's see, war training, yes, to war train the dogs right off the bat, got two cows, and a butcher, available as a pet, it's funny, um, so the cats you cannot set as available to pets, um, they are uninterested in an owner because they are cats, but uh, sometimes they will actually uh, choose a dwarf to be their uh, their owner, but you can't choose which dwarf they choose, which is you know that's appropriate. Uh, let's see, Lever, this is all. These are new little pop-ups. Fishing, yeah, don't fish. Wait, what? Oh, I see. So fish or dwarves? No, nobody fish. Fishing is stupid. Plant gatherers? Oh, you're an herbalist. Well, yeah. Also, everybody gathers plants. Okay. This is interesting. Hollers, everybody does. Orderlies, everybody does. Bravers, everybody does. Everybody, everybody. Alright. Oh, we just do nobody fishes. Oh, all right. Um, let's see, planter. Only selected, yeah. Pretty much only want skilled farmers doing, well, harvesting, but maybe planting too. Hmm. Hunting, we don't need hunters. Woodcutters, only selected. So there's one woodcutter, that's fine. And then miners. Eh. I can't do everybody. Huh. Weird. <laughs> hmm. Well, alright. That's fine. Standing orders. Do not automatically collect webs. That makes dwarves just rush into the caverns with higgledy piggledy without looking to see if there's terrible things. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, yeah, automatically clean fish, except we're not going to have fish, so that's fine. I think most of the defaults on these are just fine. Yeah, that's fine. Sieges, yeah, that's fine. I love that you can make children do chores now. That's new. Children do chores. I don't have any children yet, but I love it. You can train them up before they're actual, you know, real people. Let's see, zone only for fishing, kitchen. All right, we do not want to cook plump helmets because if you cook them, you won't get seeds back. So we will brew them. When you brew, you'll get seeds back so you can, uh, you know, maintain your farm. Seeds, all those are not cooking. It's all fine. It's all fine, okay. All right. So, I kind of like this area. It's as so zoomed out as we get. Alright. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's not very big as far as a pasture. Alright, so I want a very big pasture. Cut down all these trees and gather all these plants. So, boop. We're gonna gather plants. There we go. Make sure we don't accidentally tell them to get in the tops of those trees, because Jesus fucking Christ. Sometimes dwarves will get up into a tree and they won't be able to get back down. And, uh, they'll just die up there, because they won't be able to eat, because they're dum dums. Alright, tree chopping, pretty much the same. These guys. And then, what's the. Is it zones? This is 
Sinos. I think I want to wait until some of the trees are chopped before pasture any animals over there, just in case a tree falls on them. The animals are going to be fine. So we're going to, let's see, where do we want our entrance to be? And, no, that's not it, let's see. Okay, yeah, so the next one up is super steep. This is the next Z level up from our guys. So I'm not worried, I can actually just go straight in. A lot of times I'll actually make a ramp down. Uh, for reasons that don't really matter. Oh yeah, we haven't even really visited our freaking volcano. Hi, volcano. Lava 707, we want... Display numerically. Oh, it does, okay. Seven. All right, so as far as fluids, so you can have between zero and seven amount of fluid in a tile. So this is full of magma from our little volcano. So up, 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 up to the top. Wow, all right. Oh my lord, what? Jesus. Okay, this volcano fucking means business. <laughs> It's just jutting out. All right. Well, it's a very serious volcano. That's good. And we'll make some of our metal smithing uh, very easy. Well, not easy. Might have to kill a couple dwarves just to uh, get it started. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do all that, and let's. We want our entrance. Let's see. So, kind of used to the rim world where you just like mouse over to the side. Uh, this kind of already has like a little gap. So maybe. Yeah. All right. Come in. Big old hallway. We're gonna have, let's see, some uh, publicly minded things over here, such as a trade depot and maybe a public tavern. Like for now, this is gonna be kind of where we'll live. Um, let's see, what I wanna do that. Okay, that's gonna be a trade depot. Um, I'm just gonna have kind of a general purpose room. Which eventually will be a public tavern, but for now it's just gonna be like kind of a stockpile slash bedroom slash just kind of a little bit of everything. But eventually that will be our public um, public tavern, and then. See, I want a manager and a, a, a bookkeeper office as ASAP. But I also want to close this off in case of attack. So let's, let's just kind of see what this gives us. And, uh, yeah, so. Fortress. I kind of want to be a little closer to the actual volcano, the source of our might. So maybe we can have a little meandering trail in here, and maybe have more of the main uh, staircase down be like here. But again, we're just going to kind of see, see what they do. Get some wood chopped, plants gathered. Digging done, see kind of what we have. And we're digging straight into tetrahedrite, which is just, just great. That's seriously too many freaking minerals. Alanite. I'm gonna have to actually check what alanite gives us. 
Oh, it didn't give us any tetrahedrite drops. Huh. Usually if you dig out six, I have to get some. Hmm. Maybe they nerfed, uh, nerfed mining a little bit, which, eh. It stands for reason. That's fine. Let's see what else do we have. Objects menu. Objects. I guess that's just stocks. Symbols named objects. Written content. Ah, oh, weird. That's kind of cool. Huh. Yeah, named objects are uh, objects that a dwarf finds a certain attachment to. It's kind of a step below an artifact. It's still an object of note in the, in the world lore and history and especially to that dwarf. I think it might confer some benefits if it's like a, a named weapon or a named shield or something. They can um, do more damage or uh, resist more damage. What do we got there? Oh, red sand. Okay. Oh, shoot. It's fine. It's just a trade depot. Usually like my dwarfy things to be in stone, but red sand is useful. There's gonna be more over here. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's. We're gonna go over here, and then so we're gonna do some exploratory mining. Oops, and. Uh, Roots. Oof. Okay. So we need to make sure not to cut down the trees above this. But we're gonna see if we can um, do some quick. Ah, fuck. You know that is. Hmm. It's a lot of sand. It's fine. It's totally fine. How do I cancel? How do I cancel? Left click. Let's see. Huh. How do I cancel? Erase. Ah, there you go. Stands for reason. Little eraser. Okay. I actually want to maybe. So depending on so basically I want a little farm plot this is, looks like a pretty good spot for a farm plot this is gonna be a good spot for a farm plot too I just want to make sure that this is so in case this is actually more rock than not we'll use this for a trade depot and I'll use this for a farm plot but we shall see. Okay, let's see. We got our dwarf guys. No job, no job, no job, no job. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, so let's. <coughs> we want to make a workshop. Let's see, workshop. We're going to do. Carpenter. We're going to do it outside for now. The dwarves hate working outside, but you know what? Suck it up. We'll do that, and then we're gonna do a crafts work. Or a crafts dwarf workshop too. Crafts. Yeah. Okay. And we'll leave that right next to it. And I have logs, that's fine. Okay. So now we'll be able to start making some stuff. Uh, let's see, so this is handy. I like this up here. Yeah, so, so many food, so many drinks. We don't have to worry about a brewing booze anymore. Or, uh, quite yet, rather. Yeah, the interface doesn't seem to be slowing me down too terribly much. Um, it is definitely different using the mouse and, uh, and the keys to move around. I'll definitely see if I can change all the hotkeys back to classic, because 
like all the other classic players, man. It uh, just goes faster, you know. Well, who knows? Maybe maybe we can get super fast at this too. We got there, Tetris, right? Yeah. So that's a little crazy that we're just there's just minerals just laying out here everywhere. All right, oh, and we can let's see, build trade depot and build that. Oh, did I? Oops, didn't make it the size that I wanted. But we can still build a trade depot. That works. Okay. Alanite. Eh, no. Build out of wood. It's fine. I don't care. This looks fine. We can we can have a little farm plot in here. Several. Yeah, that'll be fine. Move ramps. Let's see. There, remove these ramps. And remove these ramps. Remove these ramps. Okay. It was a pet peeve of mine when uh, there are ramps right next to my fortress entrance, and uh, goblins come from up top, and then. Surprise me because I'm only looking at this view, but they happen to be like right at the Z level above me and just like come right in. It's happened many times. All right, what are we gonna do? Um, how do we? Hmm. Constructions. How to build a um, farm plot. Farming. Oh, farm plot. There we go. So this will be our plump helmet plot. And now. Oh, it's not done yet. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go to town, guys. All right, Carpenter is gonna get freaking busy. Free for anyone? Let's see. Okay. Uh, in the building. Stockpile links. For the building. Damn it. General worker is allowed. That's fine. It is large. Okay. So, yep. I heard about this. Sometimes you can uh, restrict workshops to people that are very good at working in them. So the quality is not settable here, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, I hope that functionality comes back though, because that is very useful. So, make a couple beds. I'm going to make a Uh, those things that were 50 points on the embark, wheelbarrow, and buckets and stuff are very easy to make. Bucket. Just a bucket. Just in case someone gets uh, hurt right off the bat, we'll make a splint and crutch. So you have it around. And we're going to make some. Let's see. What is that? Hmm. Nah. Let's make some wooden cups. I can't just. Okay, hold on. Is no A. Nope. Oof. All right. Yeah, the key 
bindings, I would like to be able to use, so I can just hit A, enter, A, enter, and redo that a bunch, because I don't want to, oh man, it goes back to the main menu, too. Huh. Oof. Alright, that's annoying. Jeez. Alright. I don't like this one. Here's where the old timer goes harumph. Because I don't, so you could just repeat the task, but I'll forget about it, and then I'll end up with 80 cups and no wood to build anything else. That's fine. It's fine. I'll just get a manager up and running in no time. Yeah, it's just a little motivation to get the manager going. Okay, the farm plot getting worked on over here. Add cups. So the dwarves really don't like drinking directly from barrels. They like having cups. So one of the first things I do is build a craft dwarf shop and uh, make some cups. Let's see, how's this guy doing? So they've been here for a little bit. You can see he's an herbalist. Annoyed climate rain. Fun is talking to a friend, that's cool. Didn't feel anything to do with inebriation. Well, that's kind of not the point. Annoyed after having a drink without using a cup. Yeah, well, you're gonna have a cup as soon as you finish fucking making one. Let's see. It is wet. Yes. Alright. Yeah, I like it. Oops. <laughs> a solitary seal of disembowelment. <laughs> That's our civilization. <laughs> the bloody floor. Alright. Alright, I like all that. Some of the randomly generated group names are better than I could come up with. Oh. So our trees are cut so we can make a pasture. Let's depend the pasture. And C go up and down. Okay. Ah, it's kind of neat to know. Okay. We're gonna make a pasture here. And. Huh. I wonder if there's a size limit. There was a size limit for the one before. Okay. Anyway, except we are going to add our animals to. Wait, not the cats. Add the animals, so now uh, dwarves are going to come bring those to the pastures so they can graze. We're also, I, you know what? Hmm. It's fine. Can we... Hmm. We used to be able... Let's see. Hold on. This animal tree. Oh, hmm. You used to be able to assign multiple things to a zone. That's fine. Kind of want our dog training area close to the front just to keep near to wells out. Hmm. Well, can we just do it like a sub zone? Yeah. We'll do that. Animal training. Cool. And so I can't let's see. A new or existing location. Uh no, not what I want. Uh, okay. Well, I wonder since that's the animal trading area and we have dogs set to be trained, I wonder if they'll just take the dogs there. Taking animals to the pasture. Hmm. 
Huh? We'll see. The one thing I liked about Classic, at least with... Oh, what's going on? Oh, stray war dog. Sweet. Okay, well, there are already war dogs. That is how fast that happens, so... Another war dogs, and they will still give us little puppies. And unfortunately, they might make puppies faster than we can make use of them, so... There might be some little puppy dogs due in the future for... Our doors. We shall see. All right. This we are going to do plump helmets. Poor soil. Yep, cavern soil is the best. So I hear. Wait, so can I? I can't just. Can I hit. It? What was it? Shift click? No. Hmm. Shift enter. Ugh, okay. Yeah, that's a little annoying too. There should be an option for uh, every season. I don't like having to click through all these. That's, again, not the worst thing in the world, but I have a feeling that's gonna... What was it? Workshop. And people are gonna complain about that, and I think that will be added back very soon. Farming. Farm plot, and we're going to do keep building. So, okay. And we're going to do. Okay, so zones are now. Hmm. zone. Stockpiles. There. We're going to stockpile. Great. We're going to paint the stockpile. Okay. Where's that? Five. Let's do that. Okay, so. Accept it. Okay. So this is going to be for food. Um. Oof. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Oof. What? Oh, God. Okay. All right, what's going on there? It's food. None of these. Okay. Oof. Do I really have to? Oh, my God. Huh. Yeah, well, this is slow going. Jesus. Okay. Oh, man, there's got to be a better way. do this so fast in classic. Oh my god. Wait. <sighs> do 
done. I can do. What are. Search. Let's on. There we go. <sighs> Cave wheat seeds. Oof. This is slow going. Double cup spawn. So I'm just making sure the seeds that I need for these uh, plots are nearby. That's... Come on. Come on. And, uh, let's see, pigtails. And, what was it, sweet pods? Yeah. Okay. Oof! Got it. Looks like that will work. But Jesus, that takes freaking forever. Not the worst thing in the world. That's fine. Okay, so we figured this out. This is going to be a trade depot. This is going to be our spot. So we can continue further down here. Invaders come in. Nah, we're gonna have a bridge here. Alright, bridge here, bridge here, bridge here. Yeah, we're gonna keep our old farmer safe. We can actually wall this up and access this from down here, now that I think about it. From what? I haven't even done anything. Whoa, that got built fucking fast. Uh oh. Faster. Shit. God damn it. Okay, that got built <laughs> very much faster than, uh, than I uh, had planned. Now we need to make it a high priority to let our other doors out. So this miner, I just uh, told him that these are first priority. All these other yellow things here are fours. This is all fours, so hopefully first priority, he's just gonna go back over here, because we just walled our guys in here, and eventually they'll starve. So, yep, he's zipping over here. They can give the dwarves priority for uh, digging, chopping trees, gathering plants, but uh, not for great <laughs> many other tasks. Um, it's just kind of a few things you can really say, like, no, no, really, this one is the important one. As far as I can tell, um, happiness has been uh, eh, not nerfed per se, but uh, there's no longer <laughs> the uh, the embodiment of pure evil than it used to be. You know, native copper, copper's handy, not not the best, but uh, at least it's metal. Metal armor is better than leather armor, so why not? And I want him to finish this here. Alright, I'm going to take a quick little break. I'll be right back.
Alright, so, just realized I'd hit start streaming, but didn't hit start recording, so maybe this was just streaming to the void, like tears in the rain. Hopefully Twitch will give me access to my fucking video file. <laughs> I don't know, I could just restart this too. I can just play the game. <clears throat> Looks like, uh. Let's see what we're doing. First time chat. No. Can we. Just ban? <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. Yeah, how can I just tell this person to never contact me again? Follow, whisper, ban. He's not been banned. That's fine. Well, I would like to ban him. Good lord. Users in chat. Okay. Now, <laughs> Oh, good lord. Okay, I have no patience for chat rooms. Alright, so we're going to set. Nope, 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 nope. What are you doing? There we go. I want to give this guy a dimple cups. What? Just dimple cups are your round. Fair enough. And then this guy, we're gonna do quarter bushes. We're gonna do quarter bushes. Quarry bushes. And block of lots. Pigtails? No, have we not done pigtails? No, we've done two pigtails. And pop the lights. Alright. Alright, so our little farming deal has gone there. This fucking what? Okay, clicking on things. Alright, man. Furniture, bed, keep building, boop. He's close to the trail, boop. Boop. Okay. Got three beds there, and that's fine. We can make a little eating area. Is that how we do it now? And let's do let's see new inn and tavern. Let's see, paint, let's see. Set details for the location. We want Lost visitors from the outside, no. Long term residence. 
Yeah, there we go. Citizens and long term residents only. We don't want a bunch of visitors right now. Ten gal, that's great. Uh, all right, cool. Got that. And we also want. Let's see. Well, I want them to. Hmm. Let's see. Ow! Ow! Nice! The meeting area actually took into account that we were about to dig. That's handy. So the new staircase thing. Ah, it's gonna be weird. So there. I don't want it too close to the magma, but I want it close enough to where our metal guys can get to it. Now we're going to scroll down. Interesting layout, but uh, they tend to be more practical than anything. And uh, you know, we'll get fancy next time. each other. Um, you don't realize how much it slows uh, dwarfs down until you go to adventure mode <laughs> and have to walk past someone and find yourself crawling on the floor at 0.25 the speed. Um, 
flowers. Huh. That's cute. Let's see, so that's 60 food, 50 drink. It's fine. I guess we should... Uh, we should set up a... a stockpile for trading. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, yeah, a little temporary wood stockpile, temporary food stockpile. And then later... Later we can just... Yeah, I might do a little quantum stockpile or something. Alright. So we have the inn here. Just because we have it, we're going to uh, do a new temple, no specific duty. Alright, so just now we just have like a place to pray to gods because they're dumb little dwarves and they love to pray. It's fine, you, praying is fine. But man, they get some of them get really upset if they don't have a temple, so. It's a generic temple for now. We'll have some more specific uh, deity-focused temples once we get down into uh, the actual main for fortress. This is all just temporary. Oh. Oh. That's a neat little pop-up. Stocks. Item. Huh. That's pretty cool. Can't click on food or drink. Huh. Ow! <laughs> it just shows you it's raining. That's cute. Oh. Praise, clear zircon, black zircon. So we got some gems. Uh, that's fine. So I guess this is just the uh, alert pop up. Oof almost want them to be a little more annoying because some of those alerts are very important. If it's just a symbol over here, hmm. I don't know. We'll see. So we're going to move the carpenter workshop in here. And then set up a wood stockpile so that the dwarves will haul things. Haul the wood logs from outside inside. And I'll have like a little mechanics workshop in here just so I can get some bridges done. Tens a night. I like the little symbols that the alerts have. Those are actually kind of handy. I wish there were a way to speed things up. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so this is gonna be the main downward shaft. times uh, some of the more um, 
useful iron ores are actually kind of higher up in, uh, in mountains and hills. But it seems like we're not going to have much of a problem finding ore. Well, actually, shit, I don't know. We have copper and tetrahedrite. I don't know what alanite even does. I don't think it's anything, honestly. Dwarf Fortress Wiki is incredibly handy. I usually just have it open already, but this is the first one. Let's see. Magma safe stone. Yeah, it's just the stone. Unremarkable. That's what I thought. Okay. That's not what I thought. I thought it dropped an ore. I'm lying. Okay, a little copper there. Okay, so we're gonna do stockpile for us. Hmm. Stockpile. So we're gonna have what? Three there. Fortunately, wood stockpiles are pretty straightforward. Boop. And now we want another carpenter workshop. Yeah. And we want a mechanics workshop. Not because it's next to the wood, just because we need a mechanic workshop. And let's see. Wood burning? I'm trying to jump on the gun. Yeah, I don't need that yet. Uh, I can move the craft store for shop inside too. Us here. Uh, actually, make it kind of nice. This is our expedition leader. He's gonna be doing a lot of work. Well, let's make it nice for him. of rock mechanisms. We're already doing it. That is so fast. Alright. So I have this on repeat, so I need to remember that that's happening. I mean, we're going to use a lot of mechanisms, but... Oof. are so happy just for nothing they haven't done anything for them they don't have their own bedrooms they only just now got a place to pray uh, simple little dwarves like i'm not going to complain but it is much easier than when i started because oh my god if one dwarf got rained on once two years later he was murdering his fucking children Yeah. There's probably something in the raw. Oh, okay, fine. 
one guy just got a little bit less happy. That's fair. <laughs> uh, summer. That's fine. Summer. There it is. Got it. Made of copper. That's fine. Expedition. That's fine. Let's drink. It's fine. And people are. Oh. Let's see. Uh, gosh. This is our inn and tavern. So, what we should do is make a little stockpile. Four. Drink some food. No eggs, plants are fine, drinks are fine, cheese is fine, seeds, not fine. Meat and fish, I don't know if they'll just eat it raw. Milled plant, no. Fat, no. Taste, no. Ugh. That is so slow. There's got to be a better way to do this. I'm sure there is. There's no way to turn. Would, uh, we got, okay, so I got it. Food and drink. Usually I'll do uh, one for drinks and one for food, but like I said, this is all temporary. So I got that, and we can, we should do, is make some tables and some chairs. Oh my god. If you could just remember, like, where you had scrolled to. That'd be one thing. Oh my god. Okay. Cool, and now we're going to construct a little furniture. We're gonna do a chair. This could be his bedroom too. Yeah. A chair. We're gonna do Chair. We're gonna do. Oh, don't have a table yet. That's fine. And we're gonna do a little bed. And we're gonna do a door. No? Oh, doors hatches. Door. Doop. Alright. Now, let's see. So we're gonna make this an office for our expedition leader. Okay. Also, sorry, I'm gonna do a few things here. This is gonna be a stockpile. Let's see. Let's do three men over here. Tahia. So this is going to be food. Custom. All right. Let's see meat. Um, maybe. Eggs is fine. Plants is fine. Drinks no. So this is going to be incoming. Incoming stuff from outside that we can then process. So we don't need any of the process stuff here. good that should oh let's see barrels we want yep lots of barrels that is fine let's see, let's see. Oh, yes done hmm so it does take from everywhere let's see stockpile here. We're going to make, let's see, workshop. Uh, is it farm? 
farming. This might be under farming. Still. Yeah, I need still. And we need a kitchen. A workshop. Alright, yeah, we got our temporary stuff. How is this guy? Let's see. So pause that and let's see how many mechanisms we have. So I left that going for a little while. Yeah, well, and I want. That's uh, what it stops. That's what I want. Okay, how many mechanisms? About three? Really? That's all we made? Alright. Hold on. No, we want a bridge. Ah, there we go. So we want this bridge to... Yes. Alright, didn't see that pop up. So this way, the bridge will raise downward from this way to this way. Beds over here, we're gonna do tables over here. What? Have you not made a table yet? Okay, it's got chairs. Alright. Okay, we built some chairs so that the dwarves can sit and enjoy their little meeting hall slash dining room. <laughs> To build a chest too. Let's see, chest right here. So because there's a chest in here, and it's set as a meeting hall, and I told it that I wanted goblets, it will now put goblets in the chest. And later on, if we want musical instruments, we'll put those in there too, so that anyone in here can use goblets and musical instruments in this in slash tavern. Again, sorry, this is not exactly a tutorial. I'm just kind of trying this out and seeing what we can do. Oh, we need a bunch of fucking barrels, too. Yeah, we'll just we'll see that. I need barrels for uh, plants, wine, food, and barrels for everything. Yeah, looks like he dug up. Wait, no, that's down. God damn it. We got Galena. What does that do again? Galena might be silver. Oh, lead and silver. Alright. Mostly lead. Sometimes silver. Eh, not worthless, but not what I want. Gabbro. Hmm. Hematite. There we go. That's what we want. Hematite is an ore of iron. And iron leads to steel. Let's see. Place. Right. Cool. 
Well, glad we have found some iron. Stuff is still, still not getting built. Hmm. Yep, there we go. Show me where the hematite is. That's nice. Let's see. We want this auto ore and gems. Let's see. There we go. Oop, and there he goes. Jesus, that was fast. Go. It's priority. Alright, well. We'll just dig this vein of hematite, because that's what we want. What do we got there? Native copper, who cares? Yep, stop. Alright, got a bunch of mechanisms now. That's good. So, just for safety, we want to build a trap. Hmm. Uh, machine? Lever. Alright. I'm going to build a lever. Uh, let's put it in our hall, actually. Just so there'll be people around to pull it. Kitty cat wants attention. Uh, yes. The building. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Do it now. No. Okay. Super easy. So now when we pull this lever. This door will close. It's not just a door, it's basically a drawbridge. And since this is the meeting hall and sleeping area, if anything happens, I tell a dwarf to pull this or only a few steps away. So that is handy. Uh, yeah, quick bush leaf. Double cut. Oh, nice. Alright, this is working out very well. Alright. Uh, 
Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I still don't have a door. That's fine. Let's get a door. After, well, okay. Door first, then back to barrels. Chest. Yes. I want to see what's inside it. Hmm. Nope. There we go. May as well cut. Nice. That is. That's handy. Hmm. Well, perhaps it may as well cut. Value 10 dwarf bucks. will be our main floor since it has the hematite so we can dig more eh. or not still figuring it out Got a hematite there not bad Alanite. andesite all right nah just glad we have access to it Key drive's good, browser archive is good. What are the place is a cult type? Mega crime. Fucking considerate garbage. It's fine. Oop. It's fine. Ah, what's the cut? Hmm. That's fair. Let's. Plants again. It's been a while. Also, let's gather them from over here. Fair enough. Fish barrel? Got a fucking fish? Why do we have fish? Oh, we came with fish. Alright, it's fine. Nice. I have a few stockpile. No, that's fine. Okay. I thought I was going like, to list everything in the stockpile. That's fine. Alright. We are... Black cap. It's a fucking black cap. Huh. going to be useful. I think I saw it down the slope. Hmm. Oh wait, nope. Here we go. There's a little chair. We're going to... Let's see. Hmm. We don't do it from the chair anymore. Alright. No. We're going to make... An office. Okay. Yeah. But oh, what? Okay. Okay. Office and bedroom. 
overlapping office. Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe they nerfed that a little bit. Uh, no goals. We want a fucking manager. We want to be this guy. Sweet. And same thing. He's gonna be doing all these damn jobs. Sucks for him. What do we got there? What is this? One through five. Oh. Come on. Bookkeeper. I want him to be the most detailed so I actually know the numbers. This is like about 60. This is like about 90. I want exact numbers. He's gonna be a broker. And he's gonna be a manager. An overworked fucking dwarf for now until we get somewhere. I'm surprised I haven't gotten migrants yet. I guess it's just summer. Wait, summer? Huh. A trade caravan comes in autumn? I don't really remember. All right, well, regardless, this is our temporary little thing. It's working. Now that we have a manager, <sighs> jobs, now justice, oh my God. <sighs> oh man, M, no, that's mining. Labor. Work orders. Is there a hotkey for just work orders? I don't know that. Okay. Forge. What? No. Oh man, their text matching got stupider. Oh man. That sucks. Amount of empty barrels available is less than 10. Okay. Uh, sure. And we want to do have 20 barrels available. That's fine. We have tight material just uh, that's fine. So amount of empty barrels less than 12. So we can frequency monthly, seasonally, yearly. Not daily is fine. Just something Can I change? Uh, what? Mm, hold up. No. I want. Oh, wait. Uh, stop. All right. You're good, and this is what? A new work order on the same line as this guy. Really? <sighs> Make bed. That's just. Okay. Let's do five. Let's do. Okay. Enough bed. There's less than ten. Uh, 
cool. I don't like that this new work order is on the same line as an existing work order. It seems like it should be something else. Okay, we're gonna do brew whip fruit. We're gonna do five, we're gonna do condition, we're gonna do uh, whip ranks less than ten, and then we're gonna do I mean, I should, can I type it? Okay, 75. <laughs> okay, we want to have at least 75 drinks at all times. If not, we will brew some more from fruit. And, all right. Plant sand meal. Get the hang of it. Bam. Okay. Change work order priority. Well, drinks. Oh. Nice. One of the things with the old one is you could only raise priority. You could never lower priority. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. We're gonna do. Let me just do a bunch. All right. Lock mechanism. All right. We're gonna go two at a time, and we are gonna say eight. We want eight rock mechanisms at any one time. The priority. Um. Okay. Eh. I'm not, yeah, I'm not against the work order thing here. I think this is fine. Just, uh, set the material. No, I don't care. Alright, there's definitely some intensely linked work orders that I would like to do. And we'll see if it can still handle those, but I like this so far. I mean, I'm just setting up some stuff that uh, I just want to have available to uh, in case I want to build shit. So, well, let's see. Hmm, should be starting to make stuff out of wood too. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah furniture is or out of uh, stone. Sorry. Um, yeah, we should, uh, get a Mason's workshop going. Let's see. We shall see. Cherry flowers. Oh, nice, because of the tree. Nice. Red spinach. No wonder. Alright, what do we got? What do we got here? It says about 90, but then I have the exact numbers over here. Right here. Hmm. Hmm. A stack of four 
door and wine. Wouldn't think you could stack wine. I want to see plants. Let's see, is it leaves? Leaves and fruit. Oh, got a bunch of red spinach. Quarry bush. Purple amaranth. Blackberries. Oh, that's cool. Apples. That's cool. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. It's a pretty good start. We have the temporary stuff going. Maybe we'll survive. And then uh, we'll find where we actually want to make the real fortress next time. So we're gonna save. And return to title menu. Boop. Timeline. Recommended. Yes.